Paki Hanma's Son of Ogre. This is a new season of Paki uh, that came out just yesterday, I think. This new season somewhat carries on where the last season left off, uh, but it has a couple of like it changes. It doesn't completely do anything with, for instance, the ending episode of season three, uh, but we still have Baki, and he follows season three in the sense that uh, now Yujiro, Baki's dad, has uh, accepted him as a challenger. Uh, but we kind of just start off with Baki training on his own and the news of that Yujiro has beaten some huge beast and Baki is now trying to like rise up to this indirect challenge by him beating this big beast. If you've seen any of the prior Baki stuff, you know that Baki's goal is to beat his dad and become stronger than his dad. Uh, and he's m multiple times said that the only thing he cares about is being stronger than his dad. And if he was the second weakest man in the world, for as long as he was stronger than his dad, he wouldn't care. Only problem is his dad, Yujiro Hanma, is the strongest man in the world. So, uh, yeah, as I was saying earlier, Yujiro has finally accepted him as a challenger. And now Baki is training, in a way, to fight Yujiro is how it seems. Uh, we get to see him shadow box with great intensity at the start. And then we get to see him travel to America to try to get a fight with Mr. Oliva, who is the strongest man in America just as practice to fight Yujiro. This is basically the plot of the whole series, uh, but the execution is really good. It's very interesting. Uh, it's a lot of changes from prior season because uh, one thing that I felt was really refreshing was the change of motivations for characters. In season one, two, three of Baki, you mostly just have people being like, I want to be the strongest, I want to be the strongest, or... Ah, no one can beat me. I just want to taste defeat. In this season, the main people we have is Baki with his goals. We have, um, obviously, Mr. Oliva. And we have another character who is fighting for his country. And this is much different motivations and much more refreshing than what we had in prior seasons, uh, at least in my opinion. Another element that's changed is I feel like there is more of a focus on Baki this season compared to the prior seasons where it was kind of like there were a lot of characters uh, and they kept coming and they kept having like a lot of the episodes were about one character and another character and Baki wasn't really involved. I, I Throughout the run of Baki, I found that kind of confusing uh, as I always thought he was the main character, but I felt like he never got enough spotlight. Although I really liked uh, Baki, seasons one to three. Uh, here, we have a lot more focus on Baki, I feel. Although they still spend a lot of time on other characters, but Baki gets so much more time. When it comes to what nitpicks I have with this season, uh, obviously the things I mentioned are like somewhat changes from prior season, but I didn't feel like those were negative. I actually felt they were for the better. One thing I did have a slight issue with, or not issue, but I just felt was weird. It was a bit of an inconsistency. It was the fact that Baki's girlfriend is just not mentioned here. She seems so important throughout Baki. But now in Baki Hanma, she is not there when he's in Japan training. And it's like he didn't even consider that she exists when he went to get imprisoned in the U.S., um, so the fact that she just isn't there seems a little bit odd. I don't know if anyone knows more about Baki and me and could tell me in the comments why this is, but I thought it was really odd. Overall, I feel like this season of Baki, <laughs> yeah, Baki Hanma, Son of Ogre, was really good. Uh, I really liked Baki seasons one, two, three. And, like, I, I didn't know what to expect, or I expected pretty good things, but... Uh, the changes in like how the story was presented and stuff, I, I really enjoyed it. And I felt like this was just really refreshing, really good. Yeah. I don't know if anyone else has seen, if you've seen prior seasons of Baki and f finished this season, what you think about it, them comparatively, but it would be great to hear from you in the comments. Yeah. 